Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I'm trying to get this mic out of the way. Today we're going to do a how to play the Commodore's Brickhouse. One of my favorite groups from the 70s. And first I'm going to put up on the chart. Chart up here on, on the screen. The chorus is A minor 7. G major 7. G major 7 again. A minor. C, D. So it goes something like this. This is how close to the how the guitar player did it. Because technically it's just... A minus seven, but of course he's doing a a different voicing, and he's not doing all these chords. But I, I'm doing all these chords. So if you're doing this by yourself, you're gonna want all these chords, cause you know when you in a band situation, you got horns going, piano, guitars, you don't have to do a whole lot. You know, you adding a piece to the puzzle. You're not the whole puzzle. You know, but I do this for the sake of. You know, if you just want to be sitting here, have a guy sitting next to you, old woman, well, a guy for this song, and he's singing and you playing, you know, and still of all, you just doing this. So, you know, he's doing more close to, you know, what I'm doing, not playing a whole chord. So it goes like this. Oops. I can't play this little guitar. My hands too big. Well, I'm trying to get through it because, you know, this projects pretty good. That's why I'm not don't have my guitar electric guitar head up. And then that shake it down, shake it down, down. Now you know what that is, and I, I think a lot of people never caught that because sometimes groups sneak in little things that nobody hardly noticed, and that down chicka down down was bow chicka bow wow, you know. And it's kind of funny when you think about it because they didn't want to do that, but they did something that was similar to that, you know. But uh, that was just some kind of interesting. But uh, yes, yeah, is it A sharp four? Yeah, it's an A suspended fourth, you know. So that's basically the song. And uh, I put the diagram up for the ver for the voice scenes if I haven't already did it as you're watching this. For the verses. So that's it. So I'm going to end it with this message that I put in all the videos. This is your channel. Support your channel. Just a dollar a month. Twelve dollars the entire year would help keep your channel running. Also for those who... Our beginners and you say hey most man I don't know how to you know uh, put these chords or Oops. you know I don't know the fingering for these not a problem I got you because we all start somewhere which is the beginning all of us you know nobody just walks in want to play guitar and jump in the middle with an intermediate immediately no you we all get to start at the beginning of the line uh, click on the link down there where it says teach you how to play the rhythm guitar chords this is actually the course that I took with, and I added some tweaks to it when I went and studied at the Conservatory of Music. And it, my instructor laid it out really well. It made sense to me because that was usually my biggest complaint when I was trying to learn the guitar. 
the way people were trying to teach me as if I already know what I'm doing. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So help me understand, you know, so you get a chart that just walks you through these chords because it's not a lot of chords, you know, when it comes to songs, unless you're doing something real extravagant or exotic, you know, basically we use major, minor, minor seven, major seven, and, and suspended fourths, and maybe one or two other chords that make up majority of the songs that you want to play, especially the stuff now. You know, the stuff now is like baby stuff, you know, compared to the 60s stuff, the 70s stuff, the earth, wind, and fire complexity type of stuff. They don't do that stuff like that no more. You know, they're just simple, you know, minor, major chords and sevens, you know. You know, so... uh Click on that link. Uh, it'll take you to another video. Only forty dollars, you get a seven-hour modules, modules that walk you through how to play these chords, knowing what they are, you know, under your finger, and still love. You don't know, have no idea what you're playing. You know, you just listen, just watch the other guy fingers and do just doing what he's doing, and that's okay. Actually, I won't say it's even okay, you know, but uh. You know, you learn the best way you can, but try to learn it the right way. Because there's so many different wrong ways to try to approach this thing here called the guitar. You know, but uh, Patreon account link down there. Help out your channel and also uh, the link to learn how to play the rhythm guitar. You know, it, it's not hard, you know. And I'm going to say this and then I'm going to shut down. I would say out of all of them, guitar, piano, the guitar is the easiest. And i tell you why. With piano, both of these hands matter. They're just equally important. This hand, and the, uh, if you're right-handed, will play uh, the bass notes in the chorus, and this hand will play the melody if you're playing that kind of piano, you know, where you don't have a singer, and you just, you know, uh, you're playing the, the, the melody. That's what the singer would sing with this hand and the, the chords on this hand. So they both important. Guitar, this hand, unless you're left-handed, this hand is really important. This hand just follows this hand. You know, this hand just follows this hand. It's like, okay, you want me to strum this? You know, up and down. That's all this hand does. You know, that's it. But piano, they're both important. They're equally important, you know. So that's why guitar is not as hard as piano. But some people might beg to differ with that, but uh, I don't see how, you know. But I'm going to sign up now. I'm just trying to see if I may share everything. Yeah. Okay, so I'm signing off now. Till next time, take care. Thanks for watching.